With PFSense installed, I will now perform the initial configuration to set up the basic networking parameters. By the end of this lecture, you will have functional PFSense instance ready for the further customization. Let's do the basic configuration now. I have already shown you that I have two network interface cards. So one is connected to LAN interface, another is connected to WAN interface. So the router which is provided to me by the telecom company, one of the cable from that will be connected to the WAN interface of my PFSense. So here, this one, which is Realtek 8139, and this is connected to the WAN interface, which is of course the uh, my telecom service provider's router and another is LAN. So RE0 is in fact the WAN interface. I'll be using that RE0 and enter. And what it says that do you want to configure the LAN interface auto? Of course, EM0 is only remaining, which is LAN interface. So I'll be connecting EM0 here. Now you can see RE0 is WAN and EM0 is LAN. So I'm okay with this. So I'll type yes, enter. Now it is configuring the van. It shows me that uh, EM0 status is changed to up. And uh, now you can see that it has started detecting the address as I mentioned earlier 192.168.100.233. Uh, this is uh, one of the IP addresses which my telecom service provider is providing me. The gateway of the telecom service provider is providing me. And the LAN will be automatically configured as 192.168.1.1. Now you can see here that LAN is uh, 192.168.1.1 and WAN is 192.168.100.233. Uh, this is fine here. I can even change the IP address. I can set the interface's IP address also from here. So I'll be using now command line interface here. So I'll be using option number two, which is set interface IP addresses. So I'll be doing that. So enter the number of the interface you wish to configure. I want to first of all configure WAN. So I'll be pressing enter here. Configure IPv4 address WAN interface via DHCP. I will say, no, I don't want to configure by DHCP. I want to provide the static IP here. So I'll be entering 192.168.100.100. This is what I want to set up as the WAN IPv4 address, enter. What should be the subnet? My subnet is 255.255.255.0, uh, .255 which is the 24 bits of subnet. So I'll be doing 255.255.255.0. Enter subnet bit count. I will be saying 24 bit. And for WAN, enter the new WAN IPv4 upstream gateway. I know the upstream gateway is 192.168.100.1, which is the gateway provided to me by the internet service provider. I'll press enter here. And now it is saying that should this gateway be set as the default gateway? I said, yes, this will be default gateway and configure IPv6 for WAN. No, I don't want to do that. Do you want to enable DHCP server on WAN? No. And then here is, do you want to revert HTTP as the web configurator protocol? So I will say yes. Uh, please uh, wait while we change the settings. So, and here you can see that the WAN address has been set to 192.168.100.100 and slash 24. This is fine. Press enter to continue. Now you can see my WAN interface IP address has changed to 192.168.100.100, but my LAN IP address is 192.168.1.1. I want to change this as well. So, how I'll do that? I will use the same. Uh, option number two from here and I will type two. So what I want to change, I want to change the LAN IP address which is already static. So I will do two. And what do you want? Configure IPv4 address LAN interface via DHCP. No, I don't want to configure via DHCP. I want to enter it by myself. I will be entering 192.168.240.1. This will be my LAN IP address plus enter. Uh, what will be the subnet? Again, the subnet will be 255.255.255.0. Enter. So subnet bits will be 24 bits. So for LAN, of course, I don't want any upstream gateway. I will be just pressing enter and configure IPv6. No, I don't want to do that. 
enter the new LAN IPv6 address. I don't want IPv6 address for the LAN interface. Do you want to enable the DHCP server on LAN? Yes, I want to enable that. And now it will tell me what will be the start range of the IPv4 addresses. I'll say 192.168.240.100 will be the start range. So you can see here 100. And what will be the end range? I will say 192.168.240.200. Enter. Now it is saving the setting, and here you go. So you can see that I will be now able to access my PFSense using 192.168.240.1. Press enter to continue. All right, so here we go. So we have now set up the LAN IP address and WAN IP address through the command line interface without opening the web user interface, even in case you want to update. Uh, PF sends to the latest version, so I'll be choosing option number 13 here. Enter. It will load the packages from the internet and it will try to load. You can see here updating PF sends core repository catalog. Here you go. Four packages are processed. Fetching the details. Everything is up to date. You can see your packages are up to date. All repositories are up to date. All right. So now I have connected the pfsense hardware device on my network so lan is connected to the switch and wan is connected to the router or the gateway or the device which is provided to me by the telecom company let us continue to the next video and understand how we can configure pfsense in production environment